Last year I dropped the ball on my reading goal, okay? And I am not letting that happen again in 2024. So let's talk about all the books I want to read this year. <sighs> let's get this video rolling! Believe it or not, I have never read this series. I haven't even seen the movies. And I am tired of the FOMO. You know, everybody knows what house they're in. They bond over it. They go to the little Harry Potter world. I don't know what it's all about, but I have tried Butterbeer. Besides the point. I'm reading this this year for sure. Another book I have FOMO for is Icebreaker. I feel like everybody's read this but me, especially a book club. Everybody brings it up no matter what book we're reading. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it has such mixed reviews. I just, I gotta read it. You know what I mean? But it's freaking long. I hope it's good. Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my, no, she is my favorite author of all time. And I haven't read this book yet. I am so embarrassed to say that. I started it on a bus and long story short, like my brain was not in the moment. I need to be in the moment for this. You know what I mean? So we're gonna try her again this year. I don't know about y'all, but Judy Bloom books raised me. I ate them up as a kid. So when I saw she released Summer Sisters, I was like, I need to read this immediately. It's about friendship and it's not all like rainbows and butterflies. It actually got some hard situations that I'm like, I need to read this. It's giving Dorothea by Taylor Swift. If you know, you know, but you don't want to know. Yeah. In 2023, I read the Akatar series by Sarah J. Mass and it's my love. It's my one true love. You know what I mean? So I'm ready to start another series by Sarah J. Mass or Mass. I don't know how to say it. Um, but I don't know which one to read next. I think some people say Throne of Glass should be next, but it's like a million books long. That's going to take me all year. No, no, you know what I mean? But like this. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I need to read both Throne of Glass and Crescent City, hopefully this year. I got it at my reading speed. You know what I mean? Another book that everybody and their mama has read but me is Twisted Love. And I didn't realize it was going to be so like spicy until I read the back and I was like, oh, oh, okay. So we're going to give it a try. Um, I've heard great things. I don't think I've heard a bad review of this. So, oh my freaking goodness. I love Lynn Painter's writing with a passion. Um, I read Better Than the Movies by her in 2023. And so I'm so excited to read the do-over. And I mean, hello, hello. Oh, it's she writes romance, by the way. This is the if, if you go to Dell, it's romance. I don't know how to play chess, but I need to read Check Animate by Ellie Hazelwood. I mean, hello. This is like the prettiest book cover I've ever seen in my life. It's a YA romance, and honestly, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I really liked Queen's Gambit, the TV show. So if there's anything to like, I'm sure this is just going to be chef's kiss. You know what I mean? I was so excited to read this book in 2023. It was like fall, leaves are coming down, like perfect setting. And people say this screams like early 2000s rom-com vibes, which is like oh, my freaking dream book. But then I went to read the back cover, found out the protagonist's names. And I was like, I was going through a breakup and the name of the male love interest was like the same thing. I'm like, no, I can't read this name like 50 million times over and over and over right now. And I'm trying to get over a breakup. You know what I mean? I have actually wanted to read the selection series since like seventh grade and I have never gotten to it, but I need to, I need to, I feel like this will heal me in some way, shape or form. So Paris Hilton, I freaking love. She is just the queen. Look, okay, not to brag, but like, she wrote that. She she wrote that. Um, I literally found this at Barnes and Noble on Black Friday. I was like, yes, I'm sliving. I'm sliving. So, love you. Back when I had a book of the month subscription, I got this book called Paper Names, which I am so freaking excited to read because it's unlike any other book I've read before. Set in New York and China over three decades, Paper Names explores what it means to be American from three different perspectives yes ma'am like i need to read this as soon as possible i'm tired of putting it off just tired of it you deserve each other is a book that i have been lent and i really need to get through it because you know when somebody lends you a book and it's like i don't want to hold on to it like for five months but i'm stuck on another book i gotta get through this soon so very excited it's a romance 
Um, I've also been gifted this for Christmas by my bestie Jenna. Um, it's called Her Body and Other Parties, which I think has like small stories within it, which is so helpful because um, sometimes you just need like a quick read, you know, like one and done. Let's get through it. I'm very excited. I think this is kind of like a creepy book, like unsettling womanhood. Um, I gotta give it a try. I gotta give it a try. This is Where It Ends is another book I've been wanting to read since I was like younger. I just have never gotten to it, but I got this cheap at a book sale and I feel like it's important to read even though I know it's gonna like send me on a spiral. It's gonna send me on a spiral. I read the Twilight series in like third grade. <laughs> My little pea brain at the time didn't know what was really happening. I just knew there was Edward and there was Jacob, okay? But um, I really want to just experience this series again with my new, more developed brain. So definitely going to try and get back into this. Last but certainly not least, I want to read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow so bad in 2024. I'm pretty sure this was the number one Barnes and Noble book a couple of years back um so I can't wait to get into it but it's so freaking long I just I've been putting it off I don't have the motivation so if anybody could please just just make me do it make me do it give me some inspire me the main of the world okay that's a lot of books <laughs> thank you so freaking much for watching this video i can't wait to post more about books in the new year like goodness knows i'll be reading a lot there will be so much to talk about and y'all i've always wanted a kindle i finally did the darn thing and ordered one the other day so like i kind of want to post about my experience with that too like i've always been a bit of a granny a hard head and been like no original books will never be replaced and honestly i might still feel that way but i'm not gonna get on a tangent um we'll talk about that another time but Hopefully you like Kindle Kana because it is coming. It is coming. Um, and I make videos in a couple of different places. So if you want to go check it out, like, here the info is. Loves ya. Bye.